Today we will learn water conservation. In the previous video, we discussed the conservation of forest resources. Like forest, water is also an important resource for us. Let us discuss the reason why we need to conserve water resources. In our country, rainfall mainly depends on the monsoon. So, the duration of rainfall is limited to a few months. Due to deforestation, there are changes in the system of rainfall. Because of absence of trees, rainwater cannot go into the ground. It drains and merges into the sea. Water is excessively exploited in industries and farming. Similarly, water pollution is also increasing due to various reasons. Due to many such reasons, the amount of available water has decreased. Absence of water is also closely related to poverty. Therefore, we need to conserve water resources. Since ancient times, water has been conserved by the local people by making dams, tanks and canals. These reservoirs were managed by the local people so that water should be available throughout the year. With the help of the experience of centuries, proper cropping patterns were adopted by looking at the availability of water. Large projects such as large dams and long canals were constructed by the government with which the importance of these local methods of water conservation diminished. With the management and administration of these local methods by the government, the local people lost control over them. Dams are important projects for water conservation. Let us talk about some important things related to them. There are many benefits of building a large dam, such as sufficient amount of water can be stored in them. Water can be carried away with the help of canals and can be used for irrigation. For example, with the help of Indira Gandhi Canal, water has been transported to many places in Rajasthan. After proper processing of water, it is transported to the cities with the help of pipelines. An important use of dam water is also to generate electricity. There are some problems related to the dam. Let's know them. Social problems. For building dams, the large number of farmers and tribals are displaced. Promises made while displacing them are not fulfilled. With the help of canals, there is a system of transporting water at far locations, but there is no uniform distribution of water. Those who are near the dam use excessive amount of water, while the people located at far away places are deprived of water. Economic Problems For large projects, public funds are very high, but compared to this, there is less or no benefit. Environmental Problems Large scale destruction of forest wealth results in loss of biodiversity. As an alternative to these problems, there are several other methods. We use various methods such as digging small pits, collecting water from the roofs of the house, making small soil dams, making water collectors made of sand and limestone, building lakes, setting up a simple water logging system. We can increase the groundwater level. There are also popular methods of water harvesting at various places like khadins, tanks and nadis in Rajasthan, bandharas and tals in Maharashtra, 
Bundis in Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh, Ahars and Pines in Bihar, Kuls in Himachal Pradesh, Pawns in Kandi Belts of Jammu and Iris, that is Tanks in Tamil Nadu, Surangams in Kerala, and Kattas methods are still in use in Karnataka. In this, with the help of man made canals, water is brought to the village by changing the route of the river. By this, the water is supplied to the village. By giving control to these local structures to the local people, proper management will be done and over exploitation can be reduced. There are many benefits to increase the level of underground water as compared to water storage on the flat terrains. For example, a small amount of water can be collected in small pits and it can be stored for only few months. Whereas, the amount of collection of water under the ground is not limited because it spreads to surrounding area and can be stored for a long time. Various problems such as water pollution, mosquito breeding can happen in small pits of water while underground water is relatively safe. You must find information about various methods of water conservation on the internet. So today we have learned water conservation.